All right, so I'm starting him at one. I have him on a longer line and I'm just gonna let him kind of do whatever. So got it at one. I don't know if you can see here. There you go, one. And let me change this sound on this. I'm gonna put it up to medium. I've got the sound box on, so it's gonna beep every time I push the button. So you'll know when I'm pushing the button. So no change in behavior. I'm looking for something super slight in him. So I'm just gonna go one up at a time. So a little bit of scratching. So that's at a three, okay? So <laughs> he's hearing the beeping on the thing. So again, that might that scratching might have got it again here. Giz. Good. So he's more interested in the box than me. So I'm going to go up to four. He's more interested in shebang. I'm just going to pull him off of that. Yes, so I got some scratching there. We're at a six, okay? So what I do at that point is, I'm gonna grab some food here. And when he shows me, shows me any attention for hearing or for feeling that, no, stay off. And he's paying attention to the food, so I'm just gonna wait till he's paying attention to something else. Yes, good boy. So, you saw him kind of stiffen up a little bit when he felt that. I'm gonna turn it down just a tad. I'm gonna turn it down to five. So I'm gonna let him wander around again, get his mind off of me having the food. Yes, so his both his ears went back. I'm gonna turn it down to a four. So most people think that when you're doing this, you want a drastic reaction. I want the dog to look like nothing happened other than their ears magically all of a sudden work and they listen to you on the first time without you having to yell at them. So wait for him to get distracted in something again. Yes, good. So he started to turn towards me. You saw he froze up and then he's like, oh, I felt that feeling. When that feeling happens, I get a cookie. I'm gonna turn towards her. So, and you didn't see a very drastic ears whip back or anything like that. Just a slight stiffen up. Turns, yes, good boy. Cookie happens. So, round of four. Again, I'm not giving him any commands at all. Yes, I want him, when he feels that little tingle, that little mosquito, I want him to realize, up, oh, something's gonna happen. Right now, that something for him is he gets a cookie. Further on down the line, that something is he's gonna hear something that is important to him and he needs to listen. Otherwise, if he chooses to not listen, that mosquito's gonna turn into a little bit bigger of a buzzer. Yes, good boy. So I'm gonna wait for him to get distracted again. over here by shebang see if we get distracted with shebang yes and I'm holding that until he lifted his head up and sort of gave me some contact rather than just sniff the floor and stop ideally if I don't have food in my hand this is what I want when he feels that little tingle on his neck. And remember, this is level four out of 
100 levels. I don't feel with the contact points he's got on, which is the short hair comfort pad, I don't feel this on myself until mid 20s. So boring, but that's how dog training should be. Yes, good boy. Because you want the dogs learning. It shouldn't be a high, crazy thing going on where you're wrestling dogs, anything like that, because they're not learning. Kids can't learn in a classroom where it's like a circus. So slow and easy wins the race. I want him to learn what that means. I want him to not be afraid of it. I want him to not think of it as punishment. It's totally 100% an extension of my voice or an invisible leash on him. I don't want him to feel like it is any bit of punishment or anything like that. I want it to be a half mile invisible leash on this dog. And already he's starting to, so I'm gonna drop that leash. He's already just starting to follow me around. Yes, because I have food, but also he's leaving the dogs, which he is a social butterfly. And also I don't have very high drive, high value treats. I have Charlie bears, so. Yes, good boy. But also, I want to use treats in the beginning because I want, I want everything with this collar to be a fun and good experience. Yes, for the dogs. So right there, he started going ahead. I hit the button at a level four. He er, stopped, turned right towards me. Again, you didn't hear me call him. You didn't see me pull the leash. That was 100% him realizing, oh, I feel that. I know what I'm supposed to do. And already he's, pay he's paying me more attention. He's paying attention to my body when I walk, when I turn. Yes, he got a little distracted by the beep. That's totally fine. So I'm gonna do something here that he may or may not be ready for. I'm just going to say SIT and hold the button until his butt hits the ground. I'm not gonna do allure, nothing, just the verbal SIT, hold the button down, apply pressure. Basically, it's like applying a pressure with the leash. Sit, sit, okay, and that's fine. He doesn't know, he might know what sit means with allure, he might know what sit means with leash pressure, but he doesn't know what it means when I put pressure with the collar. That's totally fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the cookie lure with sit, sit, sit. Here's cookie, here's cookie, sit. Okay, and again, that's fine. This is totally new to him. I'm gonna use my leash as help, sit. 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 Yes, good boy. Good boy. So, break. Good boy. He might have known sit. I don't know. Every dog that I start with, I pretend that they don't know anything because I want to start from square one with the dog and the e-collar because when you add the e-collar, it's another layer they don't automatically understand what that means. So it's my job to teach them. Just like if I was teaching you a foreign language and I wanted you to do something, on day one, I wouldn't give you all that instruction in that foreign language and then get angry at you because you had no idea what I was telling you because that's not fair. So same thing with the dog. I'm teaching him a foreign language right now. I want to make everything that he's learning fun. I want to make him successful and I want 
it to be as easy and efficient as possible for him so he doesn't get frustrated and I don't get frustrated because dog training should be fun learning for the dog should be fun so again when you put the e-collar on them make sure that you're helping them with leash pressure treats body language voice everything yes go sit my man so i don't have food i'm out of food right now i'm just going to ask him to c-o-m-e i'm going to back up i'm going to push the button as soon as he comes towards me i'm going to let my finger off that button yes come yes good boy super good job giz giz good so again we're only on a level four and you saw he was kind of like whoa he's a pretty sensitive little guy even though he's kind of a little blockhead guy he's a border staffy sit sit yeah good job gizzy good sit giz come yes so I turned it down to three and that was a much less, ah, what was I supposed to do when I felt that little tingle? So um, level three out of a hundred for a guy like this is amazing. So I'm very happy with that. So that's it for his session right now. That's a lot of information that he just got in this 12 minutes. So I break it down to short, fun, sweet little sessions for him.